Hi, my name is Ruman. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an API in AnyPoint Studio and auto discover it in API Manager. Let's first create a Mule project. I'll just name it as test auto discovery. You can select any runtime here. I'm not going to add a API kit component right now. Select the default options, hit finish. So now I'm going to drop an HTTP connector and just a set payload. So I'm going to configure this HTTP connector with the basic settings and in the set payload just say anything here let's just quickly test this project good now I'm going to stop this project and go to global elements and create an auto discovery element which is in component configurations API auto discovery so here is where you uh, name your API so this is going to be shown on your API manager so this is not your actual API name so I'm probably going to name it as uh, API test API manager version 1 flow name is the flow which flow you want to uh, point it to so if you keep typing you will sh you will see list of flows here so I'm going to select the first flow because that's the only flow I have and if you have a API kit router configuration you can select it over here since we don't have it I'll just leave it blank say okay now one thing before we try to deploy it to cloud is you need to make sure you have any point studio connected to uh, any point cloud just add your client ID and client secret so you should be able to get your client ID and client secret from any point so if you are logged in into any point platform you can click on your business group here so and then here is where you would get the client ID and client credentials okay once we have added the API discovery uh, element let's now run the project again so one thing to notice over here is once I have added the API discovery element you would see that this API is going to be registered on API manager So it should be somewhere in the log saying that it has successfully registered the API in API Manager. Oh, okay, it's right here. So auto discovery deployment successfully created API named test API Manager with version one. So what it is really doing actually created your API in API Manager. And if you see the configuration details, it would be your local host which is right here so and let's quickly test it out it's the same thing yep and you should be also able to see analytics over here uh, it might be a little delayed so you should be able to see a spike because we just requested the API okay while we are waiting for that analytics let's move on and deploy this application to the cloud so to do, deploy on the cloud, I would right click on this and say, go to any point platform, deploy on cloud. Since we had the client credentials and I have already logged in in any point studio, it's not showing me the login screen, but 
if you're doing it the first time it will show you the login screen so you'll have to log in into any point platform and uh, click on any environment so I'm just clicking on the sandbox environment so I'll probably select a least core size worker size and it has already shown my application name over here so I'll say deploy application So at this point, I can close this window, go back to my AnyPoint platform Let's see. and see that here it's already uh, started the deployment. Let's go to the logs quickly. All right, we can see the application is being deployed and provisioned in Cloud Hub. I'll pause the video here and let it finish the deployment and come back again. All right, so our application has started, so we can do a quick test on that, Hit on this one, and I can see success. So let's go back to the API manager and see if the API manager still has that reference. All right, it still says API, test API manager version one, and status active. One thing you might have to change is the configuration endpoint. So it is still pointing to the local host 8081. So I'm just going to change it to this particular URL. So save. You can see the spikes here, which has also shown up. Okay, now let's do one last test to make sure it is pointing to this particular API. So I have refreshed a couple of them and I don't have anything on the local host. I've already stopped it. So there shouldn't be anything here. The analytics might be a little delayed. So I'll just pause till it shows up again. Uh, so we can see that it has spiked back up with our new endpoint. So in this video, what we have done is we have created a simple application deployed on Cloud Hub, and we were able to make this particular application auto discover on our API manager. And one interesting thing to note is this is not a proxy as you would do in uh, endpoint with a proxy this is just basic endpoint so this is not consuming additional workers so which is a cool feature and you can add multiple policies or uh, you can do pretty much anything what you would do with a api manager here hope this was helpful thank you